on the tram. This is one hour like uh, tour is a of Universal Studios. In the, in the first car here. In the tram. How are you guys doing back there? Anyone celebrating a <laughs> Look birthday? Look at baby with the 3D glasses. No. Yes. Oh, car two. Oh, happy birthday yeah. to you, car one. Oh, it says it's happy birthday, John. And Colleen. Aria here. Happy are you guys. ready? Yeah. Are you in car two? I see you guys. This might be a good birthday. chance to take a nap. Car three. We'll I see. see a little kid beaming back there. Hi. Celebrating our 55th anniversary of the studio tour in a lot of large beige buildings. These are sound stages. So sound stages are large soundproof buildings where that give filmmakers a lot of creative control over lighting and sound. They can build huge sets inside. Like in stage 12, coming up on our left, it's currently home to NBC's The Voice. Ooh, this is a big one. Check it out. Just some, the back of some sets there. They are in the middle of switching out. Um, some uh, movies and television shows, so you're getting to see everything in flux. That's pretty cool. Those doors are not always open. We've also had thrillers filmed inside these studio uh, sound stages where they would do their exterior outdoor scenes. Here's what it'll look like. And you'll get a peek of New York Street there coming up on our right, but we'll be even closer in a minute. Beautiful. Uh, across the way there on our right. That's Brownstone Street. It's a, one of my favorites. It's the door! I'm in the shower! Uh, he's like that. Outside good. He's like that. Outside good. It's the same. Ooh. Oh, you're done now. Same there, yeah. Okay. B E A U. And now I'm ready to take it back to the future in Hill Valley. All right, guys, welcome to Hill Valley. This is Courthouse Square. Courthouse Square originally gets its name from the courthouse in To Kill a Mockingbird, starring Gregory Peck, based on the Harper Lee novel, but it's pretty widely, widely recognized from Back to the Future. This part of the Universal Backlot, check out it. It's pretty darn impressive. I, I do say so myself. And since my co-host Jimmy Fallon hosts the Tonight Show in New York, I guess I guess I'll let him share with you about New York Street. Hey everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. I once got mugged over there by an old woman, tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey buddy, how's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Got a lot of New York City. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking. It's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. And check out some of those behind-the-scenes stills of New York Street in use. We've had a lot of action movies filmed out here. It's a lot safer to do it here in a contained environment like New York Street than actually a street in New York. We've had Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw out here. That movie's coming out next summer. Super stoked on that scene. It's from Transformers, Captain America, the first of the This event just gone, and it's great to have you along for the ride. Now, we have Look. created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, but just have them in your hand because we're about to return. What not, so oh, make sure you remain and seated, seated and holding on to your belongings. It is some treacherous terrain in Skull Island. Oh, 
projected on screens that are 180 feet wide and 40 feet tall. Right. <laughs> it's a good one, Jensen. Back to the future cars that we should theoretically be driving by now, right? Flintstones and prehistoric vehicles, they had little engines inside, so the actors didn't have to be running around aching their weary calves. And then what is Picture Car Row without Fast and Furious, guys? It's all about the cars. There's the gyrosphere from Jurassic World. My favorite picture car is this one on the end here. It's this giant tank. Yes, I love it so much because would you believe me if I told you it was made out of plywood? <gasps> I know, right? It looks so real. But it actually makes a lot of sense to have something that heavy that they need to move around on set to have it be lightweight. Imagine trying to parallel park a two-ton tank. I can't even parallel park my Prius in Los Angeles. It's very difficult. We've got two more picture cars coming up on the left and right. You'll see some Jeeps from the Jurassic Park franchise. One over here, a little cute green one, and another tan one, come, or tan and red one there on the left. And speaking of Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And that's the end of that clip, but really that's all it takes to get me in the mood for Jurassic Park. We're about to look at some of the set pieces from the Jurassic Park franchise. Keep in mind that most of these set pieces are super fake. Plywood, plastic, and paints. The P's. Also PVC pipe. Fourth P. So they're all super fake. Um, a lot of foam rubber and chicken wire for some of the trees that you'll see hanging around. The dinosaurs inside these cages, though, are real, so don't... Thanks. Uh, I don't, I don't know where they went. Oh, oh boy. Up right there on the left is the mobile lab unit Jeff Goldblum used in Lost World. Oh boy. Dinos have taken it over. At least there are none outside. <laughs> Am I right? the original Jurassic Park film directed by Steven Spielberg. He really utilized the weather and the uh, nighttime scenes to make it a lot more terrifying. So the rain element added a lot of drama and suspense. But what do you do when you're filming in Southern California? And you can't just wait around for the rain. You'd be waiting months. 
months, months at a time. They decided to become part-time magi magicians or illusionists, if you will, and make it rain. That's right. We're going to show you how you do how we do that here at Universal with just a little drizzle water rain simulation here. We're going to do it in our old Mexico sets. So everybody remain seated. If you see a sign that says Banos, dunk it up. There is nothing behind there. Just remain seated and hang. Oh my goodness, door guy Jensen, it just started rain? raining out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Guys, wow. this is our sprinkler system. We have pipes that shoot water up into the air. It falls back down to the earth naturally, oh, looking fine, like fine. rain. And I'm told that's just how gravity works. What do I know? I'm a tour guide. Anyway, there you go. This is our little rain demonstration for you. We're not going to keep it on too long, though, because we, we do have more things to do today. Um, oh, okay, everybody brace yourselves. Yeah, I'm not fooling anybody. That was our flash flood simulation. It was used in a film called Big Fat Liar starring Paul Giamatti. You check it out in use on your screens. We were just here. Wolf. We're finishing up our punch anything, that's why they call it a hot set, because if you touch it, production will burn you. But we get to check it out because the cast and crew are out for the day. This looks like a subway station from San Francisco. Nice. So we've gone from Europe to San Francisco in no time at all. That's right, there's craft services in the front left. Although it looks like just a bunch of fruit and bananas. And I want my candy, so I'll wait until later. Alright, check it out. We're not allowed to touch anything, so do remain seated and just keep your hands to yourself. Oh! Uh, no need to panic, guys. It, we get California Trevor covers from time to time. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to roll with this one. Hang on. its millions of sequels. And more recently, those, mo those mechanical effects were used in an episode of Bones. What are the odds of as our tramp pulls up and a shark shows up? Well, <laughs> I guess they're pretty good. There it is right there. Oh boy, at least nobody's in the water, right? Stay in the, your seats. Oh, there's a scuba diver. Excuse me, sir, you might want to get out because it seems like there's a... Huh? I was too late with my warning. Thank you for your service. Oh all right. I appreciate him and all his, his hard work. He had, he had a lot of guts to be out there, and, and, and they're everywhere now. <laughs> okay, so um, just for safety purposes, we're going to hide out here behind this very sturdy dock with giant tanks of gasoline. Oh, no. Sturdy dock. Yeah, I, I don't see that there's going to be an issue except for that. Oh, boy. Jaws there. 
It works very well for us here at Universal Studios. Truck repair for a little while. There's a group of mechanics that are apparently quite good at thwarting off um, international gangsters and um, uh, corrupt FBI members. So we are going to be heading in here for our safety. This is Agent Novak with an FBI alert about individuals who are not authorized to be involved in the witness protection operation. I'm heading up with my FBI team. Be on alert for Dominic Toretto, an ex-convict who has broken laws throughout the U.S. and around the world. Despite his checkered past, Toretto and his crew were recruited by Agent Lou Cobbs to assist in U.S. diplomatic security missions and was granted a pardon for the crimes he committed. is a street racer and mechanic on Dom's crew. She's particularly vicious when protecting Dom. Her ordeals have impaired her memory, but she always remembers two things. She's got Dom's back and he has hers. It looks like we're gonna be in some pretty capable hands, so. Don't worry. Ooh, that's a cool Dodge Charger there on the right. You guys know who that belongs to, right? And there are some other cool vehicles in here, like this work of art here in the front. And that urban assault vehicle in the back. All right, I'm feeling more and more confident as we come in here. Oh, good, okay, good. I have a message coming through. I'm gonna patch them in. Pleased to meet you. Our buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you in Sean for a while. So we brought you in our secret spot. All right, look, guys, we're going to keep Shaw from finding you. But to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the syndicate tracking us here. So put away your cameras and turn off your cell phones. One flash or one ringtone could give us away. I need y'all to take this real serious. Okay, pull into the next bay and we'll meet you in there. Okay, good. Roger that, Roman and Letty. Okay, so uh, you don't need your 3D glasses yet. I promise I'll tell you when you do need them. Uh, for now, we're just trying to try to stay as undercover as possible. So I think we're going to be driving through a dance party here. Uh, let's just all pretend like driving a tram through a dance party is normal behavior, okay, guys? So just hang on. Just just play cool. Play cool. Hey, guys. Hey, hey how's it going? I, I love the boots. Yeah, that's right. Oh, hey. <laughs> just... Having a good normal time. So everything's normal. Everything is normal. Everything is chasing. Everybody out! The FBI! Turn this kitchen off! Oh. Well, hey, hey, man, we're just trying to have a good time here. You guys, I think they're on to us. Oh, boy, what do we do? We need Roman. Roman? This is what we're doing. This is the race day after party. And the, where the where other? Roman Pierce. Roman Pierce. FBI, don't move. Bill? That's right, party's over. You know how long I took to iron this shirt, man? I'm, I'm not. You're under arrest right now. Baby, just, just back up a little bit. I got you. It's lightweight. First of all, I don't work for you. Oh, really? Well, tell me, Roman, who do you work for? We don't work for nobody. Cop, I suggest you clear out of here, otherwise we can't guarantee your safety. Guarantee my safety? I'm the one holding the gun. Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Hobbs, escort this novice out. Let's go, Cookie Puss! Yeah, uh, we my man's cheat. Somebody out there really pissed off Shaw. It's gonna get ugly fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family will protect you. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm gonna know this tonight. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Man. It was on vibrate. 
Sean Trace does. I just can't hold him forever. Levy, Roman, we're up. <sighs> Trying to move that vehicle. It's about to get real interesting. My Mona Lisa's all warmed up right next door. Roman, grab your truck. I need you and Levy ready to roll. Boy, guys, all right, we are going to attempt to join this tram alongside the Fast and Furious gang, and I can't wait to see how it all plays out. And you heard Dom, he said it would be interesting, but I bet it would be more interesting with your 3D glasses on. That's right, it's time. Get those 3D glasses on. And hang on, remain seated. It is going to be a wild ride. This is our turn. The bigger the, the family, the stronger and, uh, it is, Tiger. Let's sum it all up with an epic oh, montage that showcasing some of Universal's amazing. movie history.